Backs off to a 2-0 lead after two matches. Here we go with our third fight. Let's go to Tim Hughes for the introduction. With the defending champion Silverbacks just a win away from a match victory. Your Red Bears battle for their match lives tonight as we turn to the middleweights. First, in the blue corner, how about a big welcome to Ryan McGiver! His opponent tonight fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Tim Kennedy! I like to stand and bang, you know, from the, the time the bell goes off, you're going to see a lot of heavy hands. Um, I'm always looking for the knockout. Middleweight Xbox 360, tell the tape. Ryan McGivern is the energizer bunny from the Silverbacks. He will always press the action and he's getting better every time we see him. Tim Kennedy is always looking for a knockout and he has been very successful with this in the past. He worked hard on his takedown defense and let's see if he can take the stop. If you can stop the takedown from the sublime wrestler McGivern. Pat Militich told us McGivern has been destroying lots of PPV, pay-per-view stars in the gym. Coming in here, striking much improved. Let's see how he matches up with Tim Kennedy, who comes off a nice IFL debut. A submission win over the pit bulls, Dante Rivera, back in February. Yes, these two fighters are really good. Although I have to say, Tim Kennedy's a little white with his punches. You have to watch out, you see. He's really swinging for the fences. Which leaves you open? Oh, yes, wide open. Or you can let him miss your opponent, and because he's swinging so hard, he's losing his balance, you can counter with a right straight. Oh, nice punch there by Ryan. Tim Kennedy goes for a single leg, but if you can pull that off, I'm pretty impressed because McGillan is a good wrestler. Look at this. Beautiful take on defense, but... Tim Kennedy's not giving up. Kennedy has his criminal justice degree from Columbia College in Missouri. Also, right now, has a very promising military career with the U.S. Army, listed in 2004. We are not quite sure what he does by design. <laughs> he wouldn't tell us. Uh oh. Maybe going to be CIA or something. A guillotine choke? No, it looks like he can slip it out. Yeah, he slipped it out. I don't know how you call this guy, but it's like you have butterfly knee something. <laughs> That's the, the technical term, yes. Perfect. Tim Kennedy goes <laughs> to the side mount and now full mount. Oh, and that's a right rear shot there. Kennedy's only loss came be a cut in his pro debut against tough Scott Smith, 6-7-0. Obviously a step up here in the competition, in the IFL. And trying to give the Red Bears a little bit of a spark. It's been a tough season for Igor Zinobia's club. Yep. They're now 2-10 on the overall fights. And a win here by McGivern would lock it up, at least from a match standpoint, for the Silverbacks. Absolutely. McGivern is using a real good butterfly guard. He's doing a good job. Kennedy all the time tries to pass it, but you can see McGivern constantly has his knee there in between. He doesn't want him on the side because he knows there's going to be trouble. The knee is still there. Can he go back to a full guard? He's probably going to use the rope now to push himself away with his foot, with his left foot, as you can see. Very nice. You see, he doesn't give him a lot of space. Good guard work, I'm telling you, but very good. Oh, very good work by Tim Kennedy to go to the side mount. But McGinner says, no way, I'm getting up. Kennedy answers with a little short knee to the face while McGivern was getting up. Another knee, McGivern almost grabbed that one. And it comes to throw. Oh, it's got reversed. Take that. Oh. Yes, McGivern tried to throw him, but it worked against him. 25 seconds, gentlemen. Melitich told us that McGivern with his back on the mat now, is the resting heart rate of 38, better shape than anyone he knows on the planet. 
Well, Lance Armstrong is 28. Watch the neck. <laughs> Maybe second. There's Pat Miletic looking on. Ten seconds. That's a nice shot there for Pat Miletic, especially while we're sitting on the side of him there. We saw Frank Shamrock last week. He's much more vocal than Pat is here this week. Silverbacks up 2 nothing. Round two. Oh! Again, five fights. Best of five wins the overall match. But for the Silverbacks, they really need at least a 4-1, if not 5-0 sweep, to get into the playoffs. Both these guys really want to finish the fight. As this is not a point fight. And both of them are capable of doing it. Who'd you give the first round to, boss? Tough round. It, it's a very, yeah, it's a very tough one. Especially with the reversal, what happened. It's just very hard to call. Those punches, you see them coming, but my oh my, have they hit? <laughs> Bad news. Well, as Adam Mashevsky just found out, the first round sometimes is not necessarily important because says the Levitch took care of business in the second round. There's Ryan's dad, Sean McGivern. Right Ryan McGivern. He shoots it, got the double leg. There you go. There you go. He's got to give it to him. No. He's got to jump. He's got to jump to the other side. Now he can be caught. This could be the end. Yes. That's it. Tim Kennedy as advertised. Very tough. All right, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? I think I'll let Tim do this. Let's hear it, Chicago! Your Red Bears are on the board. One minute, 25 seconds of the second round by guillotine choke and tap out. The winner, Tim Kennedy! The Red Bears have closed the gap to 2-1 Silverbacks, but up next,